dialogue leveler here in DaVinci Resolve 18.1 is a big game changer for people who don't know anything about audio. But my question was, how does it compare to the tools we already have here in DaVinci Resolve in the Dynamics panel? And I'm talking about compression, the makeup slider, as well as an expander or a gate. How does the voice leveler compare to what we've already got in DaVinci Resolve? And that's what we're talking about today. I hope you guys are interested in that. We're going to see what happens here and how things work out. But I've got three different examples. I filmed one example using this guy right here, my 5D Mark IV, with a microphone on top of it. In the second example that we're going to take a look at, I've got this guy that I'm borrowing from Blackmagic Design. This is a 6K G2 pocket cinema camera. Pretty sweet camera that I used with a lav mic. And then we're also going to have a sample for my studio here in this setup, just so you can hear the difference and see how the dialogue leveler works. Does it do a good job? Is it better than using the Dynamics panel in Fairlight? I don't know. I'm going to make a prediction here. I'm going to say the Dynamics panel is going to be better. But if you don't know anything about audio, I think the voice leveler here is going to do a good job for you. And it's a good place to get started. So let's jump into Resolve. We're going to take a look at these three examples. First, I'm going to play through the clip for you so you can hear what it sounds like without anything applied to it. There's no audio work done. These are all straight out of the camera. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the dialogue leveler. We're going to see how that sounds with the louder and quieter parts. And then I'm going to show you what it sounds like if I were to go in and use the dynamics panel and just do some normal compression, makeup, and uh, maybe an expander on there. We're going to see what the difference is. And I want to hear what you guys think comment down below with each example what do you think does it sound better one way or the other with the dialogue leveler or does it sound better with the dynamics i don't know it's up to you so let's uh, get into this and see here's the first example here's what it sounds like with nothing being applied and then we'll go ahead and apply the dialogue leveler in the next round all right sample number one here i'm using my dslr i've got a microphone mounted on top of the camera this is how i would normally talk and this is volume i would normally talk at is the voice leveler going to do a good job if i kind of talk a little bit quieter like this is the voice leveler gonna kind of balance things out for us? Or what if I were a little bit farther away from the camera? So if I put this guy down right here, get right down in there, and then I back up a little bit, maybe I'm still talking loud. Is the voice leveler gonna balance all that out? Or is it better if we just use compression and the dynamics panel in Fairlight? Which one's gonna give us the better result? I don't know, comment down below. What do you think about this sample so far? So there's the original clip. Again, no audio processing applied. Now all I'm gonna do is come to my track for my 5D Mark IV here, I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna turn on the dialogue leveler. Now I can open it up so we can make adjustments here if we need to, but I'm just gonna use the uh, stock settings here, uh, the default settings I should say, and let's play through this clip again and see how it sounds. Let's do it. All right, sample number one here, I'm using my DSLR. I've got a microphone mounted on top of the camera. This is how I would normally talk and this is volume I would normally talk at. Is the voice leveler going to do a good job? If I kind of talk a little bit quieter like this, is the voice leveler going to kind of balance things out for us? Or what if I were a little bit farther away from the camera? So if I put this guy down right here, get right down in there, and then I back up a little bit, maybe I'm still talking loud. Is the voice leveler going to balance all that out? Or is it better if we just use compression and the dynamics panel in Fairlight? Which one's going to give us the better result? I don't know. Comment down below, what do you think about this sample so far? All right, so my initial thoughts on that example, not too bad. I mean, you can definitely hear that background noise, which is very windy outside. You can hear that increase when it makes my voice louder in the parts where I'm talking a little bit quieter. It does okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's great, but it's okay. It kind of gets the job done for a one-click fix, right? So now let's jump into Fairlight. So musical notes down at the bottom here. And now what I'm going to do is actually use our dynamics panel. Let's clean up this window a little bit here, you know what I'm saying? So we got our 5D Mark IV here, and I'm going to come to my Dynamics, and I'm just going to change this to Dynamics EQ Effects. And the only thing I'm going to apply is the Dynamics. So I'm actually going to come into my track, and I'm going to turn off this Dialog Leveler. So I'm going to make some changes here to the Dynamics. I'm not going to change anything else, and then we're going to play it back and see what we get. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to turn on my compressor. I am going to listen to my clip, and I'm going to make some adjustments here and see what we can do. All right, so I made some changes there in the dynamics. I'll throw it on the screen here so you can see exactly what the changes are that I made. I boosted the makeup a little bit, threw on some compression, and was debating on whether or not I should use that expander um, to help reduce some of the background noise. But here's what it sounds like once I've used the dynamics. All right, sample number one here. I'm using my DSLR. I've got a microphone mounted on top of the camera. This is how I would normally talk, and this is volume I would normally talk at. Is the voice leveler going to do a good job? If I kind of talk a little bit quieter like this, is the voice leveler going to kind of balance things out for us? Or what if I were a little bit farther away from the camera? So if I put this guy down right here, 
get right down in there and then I back up a little bit maybe I'm still talking loud is the voice level going to balance all that out or is it better if we just use compression and the dynamics panel in Fairlight which one's going to give us the better result I don't know comment down below what do you think about this sample so far all right so here's my thoughts between the two of them personally I kind of like using the dynamics better now why one I've got more control over what I'm doing with my audio so I like that that I've got more control Two, when the dialogue leveler kind of makes an adjustment for when I step farther away from the camera, it almost boosts it up too much a little bit. You know, it, I think it, it it's okay. It's not terrible in this situation, but I think that with the dynamics, it still sounds like I'm backing away from the camera, but it's not too loud, right? It's not the exact same level as when I'm close to the camera. So I think it just gives you a little more of those dynamics there of you can tell I'm moving farther away. It sounds like I'm a little farther away, yet the voice is still loud enough that it's, it's clear and, uh, and easy to hear. So in this first example, I think uh, I'm going to go dynamics on this one. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let's jump into the second example here and see how the dialogue leveler does on this one. This is the Blackmagic 6K G2 clip. Trying out that camera. Thanks so much, Blackmagic, for sending that out. It's a lot of fun. Now, here's the clip with no audio processing applied, just straight out of the camera. Just adjusted the level so you guys can hear it good. Roll that tape. Here we are on the Blackmagic 6K G2 camera. We got some wind noise. This is the volume I'd normally talk at. I got good levels set in the camera as well as on the lav setup itself. Now, if I talk a little bit quieter, we do have the wind noise. Is the voice level are gonna be able to level this out a little bit, make it sound a little bit more consistent? Or are we better off just using some compression and the makeup slider that come in the dynamics panel that we're already in Resolve? Where are we gonna get better results? And that's what I wanna hear from you guys so far. What's working better? Is it the voice leveler or is it dialogue leveler? I get the names confused. Or is it our standard dynamics? Let me know. Oh, I just got hit with some, some sticker bushes back there. Oh. All right, so that's the raw clip right there. Now let's go ahead and go on our track. I'm gonna select our track and apply the dialog leveler. Again, default settings. I'm not gonna change anything. I'll pop it up. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna leave the background noise reduction on and uh, let's go ahead and play through the clip and see how it sounds. Here we are on the Blackmagic 6K G2 camera. We got some wind noise. This is the volume I'd normally talk at. I got good levels set in the camera as well as on the lav setup itself. Now, if I talk a little bit quieter, we do have the wind noise. Is the voice leveler gonna be able to level this out a little bit, make it sound a little bit more consistent? Or are we better off just using some compression and the makeup slider that come in the dynamics panel that we're already in Resolve? Where are we gonna get better results? And that's what I wanna hear from you guys so far. What's working better? Is it the voice leveler or is it dialogue leveler? I get the names confused. Or is it our standard dynamics? Let me know. Oh, I just got hit with some, some sticker bushes back there. Oh. All right, so there's our initial run through with the dialogue leveler. And I think it did okay, you know, not too bad. Again, when those quiet parts get louder, we hear a lot more background noise, even though the background noise reduction is turned on. Um, and again, I'm using the default settings here. You can adjust a few things in this, this effect here, but not too bad. Now let's jump into Fairlight again down here, musical notes at the bottom. I'm gonna make a few adjustments here on my dynamics, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and give that a listen. All right, jumping back into the edit tab here. Here is what it sounds like after I've applied some dynamics. I'm gonna throw it on the screen here. You can see what the dynamics look like that I put on here. How does it compare? Let's chat at the end, watch this, and let's see what it sounds like. Here we are on the Blackmagic 6K G2 camera. We got some wind noise. This is the volume I'd normally talk at. I got good levels set in the camera, as well as on the lav setup itself. Now, if I talk a little bit quieter, we do have the wind noise. Is the voice leveler gonna be able to level this out a little bit, make it sound a little bit more consistent? Or are we better off just using some compression and the makeup slider that come in the dynamics panel that we're already in Resolve? Where are we gonna get better results? And that's what I wanna hear from you guys so far. What's working better? Is it the voice leveler or is it dialogue leveler? I get the names confused. Or is it our standard dynamics? Let me know. Oh, I just got hit with some, some sticker bushes back there. Oh. All right, so what'd you guys think there? How'd the dialogue leveler do in this situation, right? Now, I think with the dynamics, that background wind noise, which there was quite a bit of it, I'm not gonna lie, uh, is a little more consistent. It doesn't sound like it goes up as much with the dialogue leveler. But again, for a one-click option, uh, if you don't wanna do any audio work, you don't know anything about audio work, you don't care, the dialogue leveler is gonna do a good job. But I do think that in this case, the, uh, the dynamics give you just more flexibility to fine tune 
the way the audio sound. And as an audio guy, I appreciate that. And that's probably what I would prefer to do versus using the, the automatic dialogue leveler there. I don't know. We've got one more example here in the studio. Let's take a look at this example. Here is uh, me in the studio recording my normal setup here without any kind of processing applied to the clip. No dynamic or no dialogue level or nothing. Here it is straight out of camera. Listen in. So here's the sample in the studio. This is how I would normally talk. Now, let's say maybe I talk a little bit quieter or maybe let's say I even back up over here a little away from my microphone. I got a boom mic. It's right, right up here. It's, it's right up there outside the frame. So is the voice leveler going to do a good job of leveling it out for us or is the dynamics panel going to do a better job? Again, if I back up back here, dynamics panel, voice leveler, it's on. Who's going to win this competition here? All right, so there it is straight out of camera. Now let's go ahead and select our track. And I'm going to come and turn on the dialogue leveler. Again, I'm going to leave it with the default settings here. All default settings. And uh, let's go ahead and play through it again. So here's the sample in the studio. This is how I would normally talk. Now, let's say maybe I talk a little bit quieter. Or maybe let's say I even back up over here a little away from my microphone. I got a boom mic. It's right, right up here. It's, it's right up there outside the frame. So is the voice leveler going to do a good job of leveling it out for us? Or is the dynamics panel going to do a better job? Again, if I back up back here, dynamics panel, voice leveler, <laughs> it's on. Who's going to win this competition here? So that's what it sounds like with the dialogue leveler in my studio. I think it works really well in this situation where there's not extra noise going on, right? It's just my voice. It's very quiet in here. I got acoustic blankets all over, right? So the sound's very isolated and it does a great job in here. I'd have no problem throwing it on the clip here and uh, using it down in my studio here. Now let's go check out some dynamics. I'll make some settings and some adjustments. Then we'll go ahead and listen to it and see what it sounds like. All right, so I made some adjustments there, and let's jump back into the edit tab, although we can listen to it in fair light. But now let's play through, and uh, here's what it sounds like with the dynamics applied. Roll that tape. So here's the sample in the studio. This is how I would normally talk. Now, let's say maybe I talk a little bit quieter, or maybe let's say I even back up over here a little away from my microphone. I got a boom mic. It's right, right up here. It's, it's right up there outside the frame. So is the voice leveler going to do a good job of leveling it out for us, or is the dynamics panel going to do a better job? Again, if I back up back here, Dynamics panel, voice leveler, <laughs> it's on. Who's going to win this competition here? All right, so there we go. That was the third example. What do you guys think? I think when it comes to a studio environment that's that's well sound treated, um, you don't have a whole lot of extra noise going on. I think the dialogue leveler can work pretty good. It's a, it's a good one-click option, especially if you don't want to worry about any audio work. Overall, I think the compressor and the dynamics in Fairlight does do a better job. It gives you more flexibility, which as an audio guy, I like that. But if you're not an audio person and you just want to kind of help get those levels a little more consistent, I would go ahead and use that dialogue leveler see how it works out apply it to your clips or your track depending on what you need but in my expert audio opinion i think the dynamics panel with your compressor and the tools in there still does a better job at keeping your dialogue consistent as well as keeping it more realistic right you're getting farther away it's actually you know kind of compensating so you can tell you're farther away versus the dialogue leveler i feel like it tries to boost everything up to the same level which may boost some of the parts where I'm away from the camera a little more. It may boost it a little more than I think it should. Now, maybe you can play with some settings in there, make some changes. It might help it a little bit. Um, but overall, I think I'm going to have to give the win here to the Dynamics panel in Fairlight. I mean, it just gives you all the, the tools and options that you need to really fine tune things. But like I said, if you are not an audio person, definitely try this dialogue leveler. It's going to do a good job. It's going to help at least balance things out for you a little bit more. And um, I think it can just really help help take your audio and your videos to the next level. If you're not an audio person, you don't want to learn it. You don't care about audio, but you should because that's what makes people want to watch your video. You got bad audio in your video. Nobody wants to watch. You got good audio. Hey, oh man, let's check out this video because it's got good audio even if it don't look so great. Anyway, guys, that is the matchup here, the Dialogue Leveler versus the Dynamics Panel. <laughs> Who do you think won? I want to hear your comments down below. Got lots more coming up here, guys. We're getting to the end of the year here. I got tons of videos to crank out. I don't even know if I'm going to get to all of them, but we do have a lot of fun stuff to get to. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.